internet, so I have a slightly exciting announcement for today. Um, you are going to be going on vacation because tomorrow I'm leaving for Hawaii and I'm going to be taking you with me. I'm going to be filming quite a lot over there. I have a list this long of things I want to buy um, in terms of cosmetics especially, but clothes also. There's like an outlet shopping center near where I'll be staying, so I'll be spending some time there and then probably getting a whole bunch of cosmetics too because I live in Canada and things over in the US are a little bit cheaper um, just in terms of pricing and then also they have stuff in the drugstores that hasn't gotten here yet like for example the Revlon lip butters and that kind of thing so you'll be seeing lots of that over the next couple of weeks um, I'll be there for the whole month of December including Christmas so I'll be having a sunny warm Christmas which will be a little weird but should be interesting and fun um, and I'm excited to do some vlogs about that maybe um, but anyway so, because I'm leaving, um, I bring a different bag when I travel than I do every day, and the stuff that I bring in it um, is quite different than what I normally bring with me. So I know I just did a what's in my bag like a few weeks ago, it was like my fourth video or something like that. So if you want to see what I normally bring in my bag, go check that out, I will put a link for that. I'm going to be showing you what I'm bringing in my travel bag for the flight to Hawaii. Um, there's quite a lot of difference between what I normally bring in my bag and what I bring when I travel. Um, just because I've become a kind of travel pro over the year as I've done a lot of traveling. I have family all over the place. I went to college abroad so um, I've kind of fine-tuned this um, and without further ado let me show you the bag. Um, when I travel I like to bring a bag that is pretty light so this one is by Longchamp and I really like these bags because, um, like, let's say I didn't want to use it anymore on the way back, I could just fold it up. Um, these bags, like, fold up into, like, a much smaller shape. Um, they're really light to carry. They hold a lot of stuff. And then also, I don't know if I recommend doing this too often, but in the past, like, I've had multiples of these bags I've actually washed them before like you can if you put it on like a gentle cycle and you cold wash it it will survive a wash and you know how bags get dirty underneath that can really be great to be able to do that with the bag that you travel with because I don't know I find that like airports and like when you go through security like your things tend to get really dirty over time so anyway let me show you what is inside oh and also I really really like the color of this bag um, like I said I've had a couple of them over the years this is my favorite one I've ever had I find the color of it really really versatile it's great for summer and winter it's a kind of blue gray color um, if I can find a link for it um, and for the name of the color I'll put it below but um, I think it's the only light gray one that they have um, so let me show you what is inside First of all, my glasses case. Um, when I travel, I wear my glasses. Should I try them on for you guys? Um, they're by Chanel. I've had them forever. Um, I don't wear my glasses very often. In fact, right now I'm wearing my contacts, but I will be wearing my glasses tomorrow when I travel. And now I can't see anything at all because when you layer contacts and glasses, you basically are blind, um, blinder than you know, like naturally are. Um, but I really like them and I like that they have like little cute detailing on them with flowers and that kind of thing. So yeah, those are my glasses. Next we have a book. I always bring a paper bag paper bag, paperback um, book when I travel. Um, this is the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon. If you like sort of fantasy books um, that are like set, um, like that are sort of period set, um, I think you would like this. It has some time travel in it. It's really well written. Um, and this is the second book in the series, Dragonfly and Amber. Um, I've just started it and I really like it so far. These are great books. Um, so I'm bringing that and hopefully it will keep me entertained until I get on the plane. And when I get on the plane, either I will watch TV. I can never sleep on planes. I don't know if you guys can, but I just can't. So I watch TV like 
on the like airplane screen or I will also always bring my laptop and bring some DVDs just in case that failed. It happened to me once and it's awful if it fails and then you have like nothing to do for a really long flight. This is like a six hour flight so um, I thought I would bring some DVDs as well and of course because Breaking Dawn is coming out I'm going to be going to see it over there um, like a few days after I land. Um, Hopefully, uh, I've not really been able to get around to seeing it over here, which makes me really sad, but to sort of prep and get into it, I'll have a little review session, and this is just the box for the first movie, but I have all three movies in it, so if I want to, I can basically just watch Twilight all the way until Hawaii when I get there, and I think that would be wonderful, so... Yeah. Um, then I just have this little thing and inside here I just have hair ties um, and hair clips and that kind of thing. I'm not going to open it because it will spring everywhere but I like to do that so they don't sort of go everywhere and get lost and that kind of thing. Next I have my sunglasses and this is not the original case for them, this is just a soft case um, because the original case is one of those really horrible, super super bulky one that is like this big and takes up your whole bag if you bring it. So this isn't quite as safe to protect them but it's good enough. Um, and these are just my sunglasses. They're from Escada. I've had them for like five years now. They're kind of scratched, but I still love them. They're sort of like a hybrid between like big sunglasses and aviator style sunglasses. I will put them on for you guys, even though it is not really that sunny in here. Um, so I don't know what you think. I might eventually get a new pair, but it's sort of funny. I can never really quite find a pair that I like as much as these ones, so... Yep, those are coming with me. Next we have a nail file, and of course it's pink. Um, in case I break a nail, because I find I always damage my nails when I travel, you guys. I don't know what it is, like I think it's probably like handling luggage and that kind of thing, but I always chip my nail polish and break my nails. Um, next we just have a loose hair clip, in case I want to tie my hair back. Some headphones, which of course are all tangled, so I actually have two pairs, one for myself and one for my other personality. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my mom might want to borrow them or something, and you never know. Um, so one of them is super cute. These are little rubber ducky headphones. Let me show you up close. Eee! Quack quack! Isn't he cute? I love those. Um, and then just the other pair is just the boring sort of iPod. Mac ones. Um, another hair clip, just in case. I would want to put my hair back in like two buns, like one on either side. I don't know. No, I don't think I would do that. Um, my cat pen, you guys have seen this before, it's always in my regular bag. Um, a highlighter. Um, I'm not really sure what this is doing in here, but it's a really, really cute highlighter. It has a cat at the end of it, it's just like a little mini. You guys see how small that is? Um, I don't know how this ended up here. I probably was like studying last time I traveled and like had a law book with me so I wanted to highlight. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with cats so if something has cats on it, it will come with me. So I'm going to take it with me to Hawaii. Next we have my wallet and when I travel, I like to take a smaller wallet with me. Um, I may also buy a new one so this seemed like a good idea to just bring like something a bit smaller. Um, so this is just my Coach wristlet. Um, I don't think they have this anymore. It was fr it's from Coach Poppy, like the younger part of Coach, which I really, really like. I love their stuff. Um, and it's just in red patent leather. I really like it. It's sort of a pop of color. Um, and it fits a surprising amount of stuff. So I just have all of my cards in there and some cash. And I don't find that I need like a really big chunky wallet when I go on vacation. It's just not really necessary. Um, and then next I just have my makeup bag. Um, you guys know the contents of this. It's in my original bag video. It's just a whole lot of lip gloss, a whole lot of lip balm, um, some face powder, and a little kabuki brush from Sephora. Um, normally I also keep like eye drops and that kind of thing in here, but I've taken those out because of the liquid restrictions and that kind of thing. Um, when I travel, like I never take li liquids with. I know a lot of people do and they have their giant Ziploc bags bursting with stuff, but 
if I can, like I won't wear contacts, I don't need eye drops, I just put my glasses on, it just feels a lot more sanitary and easy and no fuss. Um, like I told you guys, I'm kind of, like I figured out the easiest ways to travel um, and for me that's just to not take any liquids um, on my person at all and just to check all my liquids um, and just find them on the other side. So we are pretty much done. The only thing left in here is my jewelry bag. Um, I like to keep my jewelry with me just in case my suitcase would get lost or something would be stolen or something like that. Um, none of this is super expensive but I'm fond of it and some of it is nice. Um, I have some like gold hoops and some Tiffany bracelets in there and that kind of thing so I don't want to check those in so I just keep them with me and I really really like this jewelry case because it's transparent so while I'm on vacation I will just store my jewelry in here and be able to see like what I have and sort of fish things out as I go along. So yeah, that is what is in my travel bag. Show it to you again. Can you guys see how light that is? It's great. Anyway, so that is what is in my travel bag. I'm so excited to go to Hawaii for the month of December. It should be really, really fun to spend Christmas there with my family and um, I'm excited to take you with me and to film lots of videos. It should make for some different sort of Christmas holiday videos. So I hope you enjoy them and I will see you when I land.